Well, uh, I did buy one more thing. I had an influx of cash, one of those one-time things that disappear very quickly. But I did decide to, to sort of uh, bolster up my plans to get through the summer. Uh, you know, riding the AC and in the van the majority of the time, at least any time I'm not out, you know, doing, you know, activities, etc. So I thought I would uh, buy this. This is the EcoFlow. This is one of the larger quote unquote generators. I don't know if you could quite call them generators, they're batteries that you have to charge. So they're not generating electricity, but they are storing it. So I'm just going to be using this as a, uh, using this as a supplement to my huge battery bank, just in case I, there's an issue when I'm not gonna be able to use it, or when I have two or three days, like one, one time we had a May that it rained like 20 days out of 30. Uh, at least I'll have something I can carry into a, a hotel, which I'm in now, or I can carry into my office that I don't have a problem with it, plug it in and charge it, and at least have enough power to get through the night. I won't be running the AC at that time, so that'll be something I have to work on. But at least I would have something with power. So this is my, this is what it is. And let me do a, I'm going to do not a box opening. I'm going to show you after I open the box. All right, this is the second step of the box opening. Just to show you, I did cut the box. I have one good pocket knife that works pretty good as a box cutter. This one, I might do a review of that sometime soon. Anyway, uh, back to the subject at hand. Uh, that's the EF Delta. I think it goes up to 1,000, uh, whatever their designation for power is. Sorry, I'm running a little bit on empty today. Uh, and I didn't do any pre-research. I'm doing this, uh, doing this when I'm half asleep, but I need to get this out and, and test it. So, might as well get it going now. All right, we will show you at the next step. So this is a staged box opening. I've got the box opening. I've got the warranty for it here. Charging me now. I guess I'm gonna do that very shortly. Uh, this is the, uh, the profile of it. So this is the next stage. I'm gonna pull it out of the box. Uh, it's 30 pounds, not really extraordinarily heavy, especially not for what it does, but uh, uh, I'm just uh, I'm just gonna pull it out of the box and then show it uh, again. <laughs> Next stage, it does come in a little container, which is great because it is raining today. So when I charge it and take it back out to the van, I don't have to take any risk of any of the components in the electrical system, which is the uh, you know battery opera, battery powered, of course. I'm lithium, I'm sure and I'm going to carry it back out. But first, let's pull it out and let's get it charging. Now, this thing is supposed to have, supposed to be one of the larger ones, uh, 1,000 watt hours. Um, and it says, I think there was one for 2,000 watt hours that I saw, but it's like, it takes like eight hours to charge. This takes three hours. They said to go from virtual zero to fully charged. So twice as much, maybe would have been would have been nice but i just don't have time for eight hour charges consistently so i just need something i can dump in real fast and get into action all right let's pull this thing out of the bag and check the accessories all right uh, this is it out of its bag and these are the two boxes i had which are accessory boxes this is a connector to connect this to an array of uh, solar panels I don't think it could handle the entire number of solar panels I've got, but I could use it with my uh, portable pack. Or I've got another panel I'm thinking about installing that I could maybe devote to this. Ah, I hadn't thought about that. That's something to come, come up with. And you can also hook it up to 12 volts and charge it. You know, for instance, I'm going down the road. Uh, I'm an urban guy, so I'm rarely on the road long enough to do any charging. And this is just a traditional three prong plug here uh, and I'm, I'm sure it's just a, an attachment here to plug it in and get it going so I'm going to get this started and uh, once I plug this in I'm, the box opening part will be open and I probably will close this part of the, the video and then the next part of my video will be some practical tests to some degree 
Not sure how many tests I'm gonna be able to do, uh, but uh, at least I'm gonna have it charged. So the practical test might be a little bit further down the line. I don't think I have any problems that this thing's gonna work. I've seen lots of examples of it working. I just want to, to uh, you know, get it tested real fast. Uh, sorry, I pause, I pause. I'm doing this with my phone and I just got a flash from a lady who says her office has been shut down for 14 days and they're working from home. So uh, I'm thinking that's pretty much what's gonna happen to me. So, you know, I got, got to keep an eye on it. Anyway, uh, you know, this is the time of the pandemic. If you see this, the, the pandemic, if you see this later. All right, uh, let me plug this in and get this going. Like I said, there's gonna be multiple uh, parts of this video because I'm just doing this uh, really ad hoc. Uh, it started at 30% and it's at 31% now and it's charging. I can hear the little fan on it. Uh, so it is, I guess it's cooling down the components required. And let's see how it goes. So I'll be back and we'll do some practical tests later. But I'm just getting this thing up and going. This is very expensive, like I said. Uh, 1500 uh, 1300 in that range, all according to what kind of deal you get. But the, the good part of this is that, you know, it is a large amount of power for a, for a certain amount of time. And the fact it takes three hours to charge means you're never far from at least having access to this. And for instance, I could, my panels are numerous as I've talked about before and you've seen if I charge that up, then I can plug this in and charge this up directly off of one or more of those panels. And then I'll have two independent sources of power in case of disaster, problems, or AC. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna be back. We're gonna go into this EF Delta a lot more. I'm gonna give more specs, uh, but it's, it's just, uh, it, it's common out there. And the most impressive thing I was purchased it for was the fact it is supposed to be able to fully charge in two and a half to three hours. So I will I'll let you know how that runs. <laughs> 